The war film genre is brimming with hundreds of great movie titles. Classic films such as Full Metal Jacket, Platoon and Saving Private Ryan to name just a few. The problem is, you've seen all these movies. However, there are many war films that never got the attention they deserved on release. Taking that into account, we've assembled a list of 8 superb ones you probably haven't seen but absolutely need to watch. First up on the list is Beast of No Nation, a 2015 release that is available on Netflix. The film focuses on a civil war conflict in an unnamed African country. What makes this film unique is it's seen through the eyes of a child soldier involved in the conflict. It has put the weapons of this war back in the hands of you, the young. Many of the film's scenes are deeply uncomfortable to watch. Beast of No Nation shows how quickly child soldiers become desensitized to the atrocities surrounding them. It's fair to say this is an unconventional war film, yet fans of the genre will find this an original and moving story. The second film on our list is Anthropoid, the story of resistance fighters who planned a daring assassination during World War II. Their target is the notorious SS officer Reinhard Heydrich. Jamie Dornan and Killian Murphy star in this uber tense war film directed by Sean Ellis. The first half of this movie can best be described as an uber tense thriller, but the second half is an explosive epic on par with saving Private Ryan. Incredibly, the movie only deviates slightly from the real events of the assassination. The heroism of those involved has been thoughtfully honoured in this enthralling movie. The film's finale is spectacular and chilling. Anthropoid really does deserve a wider audience than it received during its cinematic release. You can watch Anthropoid on Netflix in the UK and the US. The third film on our list is Generation War, the brilliant German series of the terrible name. This film is a rarity in the Second World War genre as it follows the conflict through the eyes of the Germans. The film starts in June 1941 and the friends have arranged one last party before they all leave Berlin. They promise to meet again at Christmas when they speculate the war will have ended. The action switches between the main protagonists and this allows the film to cover the different perspectives of the war. Brothers Wilhelm and Freehelm are fighting on the Russian front, Victor is arrested by the Gestapo and Charlotte is seeing firsthand the human cost of Hitler's grand plan in the military hospital where she works as a nurse. This is a thoughtful war drama which doesn't flinch from covering the atrocities carried out by the German army during the war. As the series shows, these horrific deeds were not solely carried out by merciless Nazis, but also by people like Wilhelm and Charlotte. Generation War is a brutally honest film that should be watched by everybody. The only downside to this film is it has no English audio, so you'll have to watch it in the original German with subtitles. Number four on the list is The Siege of Jadaville. Released in 2016, the story follows a UN peacekeeping force who's posted to a sleepy African town. The Irish unit believes that avoiding sunburn will be the toughest part of their mission. However, the 3,000 battle-hardened mercenaries poised to attack the town have other ideas. You never dare attack United Nations company. You've never been in battle. Do you have a plan? Just to prove there's no need for us. I really enjoyed this film and in many ways it reminds me of the 1964 war film Zulu. You have a lightly defended position holding out against all the odds. As war movies go, that's no bad thing, Zulu is a damn fine film. The Siege of Jadaville is also very good. The action scenes are dramatic without being over the top. The acting from Jamie Dornan and the rest of the cast is definitely up to the script. You're hanging us out to dry. We need reinforcements. There are larger things here at play than you can possibly imagine. By all accounts, the film is historically accurate, including the dramatic scenes when the UN soldiers are attacked from above by a fighter jet. What happened over the five day siege is a little known battle in history, but the story of the Irish peacekeeper's heroism has been perfectly captured in this movie from director Richie Smith. 
Next up is the Brilliant 71, originally released in 2014 and available on Amazon Prime. A young British soldier finds himself alone on the streets of Belfast during the height of the Troubles. 71 is a powerful and hard-hitting story that manages to take a balanced look at the conflict in Northern Ireland, while taking the audience on an emotional roller coaster ride. To survive, he must reach a British army base, or he can take his chances with the loyalist paramilitaries and hope they deliver him to the British authorities. But who do you trust when you're alone in a conflict where friend and foe all look and sound alike? 71 is beautifully shot and captures the era perfectly. You will need at least a basic understanding of the Northern Ireland conflict to get the most out of this film, otherwise the political entanglements might seem a little confusing. Having said that, you can just enjoy this film as a full-on chase thriller with fantastic performances from all the cast involved. Max Manus' Man of War is the true story of Norway's most famous resistance fighter. Why do you want to be a saboteur, Max? My country was stolen from me, sir. And I want it back. In cinema history, French resistance fighters have been immortalized many times. However, movies about resistance movements in other European countries are still thin on the ground. This movie is a welcome addition to the resistance film genre as it focuses on the Norwegian struggle against Nazi occupation during World War II. Come on, move! You will execute sabotage missions behind enemy lines. You must forget all you know about normal warfare. Max Manos. These hopeless terrorist actions set the civil life in fear if we don't stop this now. If you stop, can you take one in your network? Then you find it. Now I find back to you and around to you. And they torture me and drape my friends for to get out of here. You can't take it. War film fans will find this story about a lesser known theatre of war fascinating. Overall, the movie is compelling and well worth your time. The penultimate film in our collection is the 2017 film The Wall, available to watch on Amazon Prime. Hit and run. Whoever he is, he's gone. He's a pro. We got no movement, not a sign of a shadow. I'm going down there, and that's it. Roger that. Got eyes on that wall? I got eyes on your ass, fancy pants. Oh man, talk to me, talk to me. What do you see? Something's not right. This is not a war film with grand sweeping battle scenes like Saving Private Ryan or Hacksaw Ridge. The Wall is a tense, claustrophobic drama which plays on the constant threat posed by a hidden sniper. This is a menacing thriller which deviates from the traditional war genre just enough to keep things interesting. The Wall is not a classic movie by any stretch of the imagination, but fans of the genre should find it compelling watching. You got an accent. Not American. You a sniper? Where are you, man? The final film on our list is 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi, available to watch on Netflix. This film is probably the only film on the list that's going to get me some stick in the comments, as it is not universally liked. Personally, I enjoyed the film if you just accept it for what it is, which is a bit of a hoorah American style war movie. The film details the true story of the 2012 terrorist attack on a US diplomatic outpost in Benghazi, Libya. Director Michael Bay delivers an action packed war movie with plenty of guts and glory. Critics have complained that 13 Hours lacks nuance. That's true, this movie doesn't have the depth of Black or Down or Beast of No Nation. But that doesn't necessarily make this a bad film. On the contrary, I really enjoyed it, despite the weak dialogue and occasional cliché. This feels like a good old fashioned war movie, nothing here is overly politicised, 
The film is unashamedly action-packed and never pretends to be anything other than what it is.